Oh, oh, good well. All right, guys, what is up and what's glorious? Um, good morning, my children. I have reusable bags in hand. I got a blue Edron James jersey on. I'm low-key looking like Earth right now, the planet. Earth is my planet. Earth is my planet. Anyways, guys, we got a brand new trip to the thrift. And as I always announce, man, I have a huge pop-up meet and greet and um, just Vinny's extravaganza that is happening September 15th. So I recommend all you guys pull up. Also, man, I was about to throw this on Thrift Heaven Vintage, but a lot of you guys don't be copping football jerseys. Trippy. But they look so hard. I feel like it's one of the most underrated vintage pieces. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's find some heat in the thrift streets today. All right, children. So I just walked into Goodwill and um, the staff was like, Paul, we got some bangers. They have these little Versace, uh, these Versace loafers, little ostrich leather right there, croc skin on the top. Um, now they running up on me saying, hey, these are authentic, no gimmick. I'm gonna have to do my um, investigative research on these, but I have to say these are extremely clean. I do wanna throw them on feet and see if they fit. Medusa head on me like I'm Illuminati. Bro, Versace little, um, I guess, business card wrapped in a beautiful envelope right there. So yeah, they might have some um, Versace in the thrift right now. These are, I think 74, 274.99. Oh, 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 I thought, thought they were 74.99. Wow, excuse me. Trippy. I mean, the retail is $675, but spending 275 at a thrift, that might be a bit of a stretch for your boy. Um, yep. It says made in Italy. <laughs> the cashier is like, they're 675 brand new, that's why. <laughs> no, I mean, that is true. These are um, these are fire, though. I'm going to have to see what's good. What up, bro? I know you're still here, man. I haven't seen you in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go Cinderella on these guys real quick. I feel like these are like size 14. Jeez, I look like some enlarged elf. What on earth? I don't know, they're big. They might be 13. I wear size 12. There's like a good amount of room. There's like an inch yeah, of room. Yeah, those are big. Dang. These would be for some like NFL player slash uh, Russell Westbrook looking dude. <laughs> these things are massive. massive. All right, guys. So um, these shoes have a CLG code, which is a CERTA logo code. And I just typed it in and it says the shoes are um, authentic on Versage.com, you dig? So, um, these are like half price, so I'm going to put these on hold, I'm going to think about it, and then I might actually grab some Versace shoes in Goodwill. It's just I didn't come to Goodwill expecting to spend $275, so, um, yeah. Alright guys, so I think what I'm going to do is an Instagram poll about whether to get that those shoes or not. I looked them up on eBay and they had some used pairs for like $350. So that's only like $75 more than what they're asking. So I don't know if it's worth spending, I mean they are brand new, but I don't know if it's worth spending $275 to have a Versace shoe only make me 75 bucks. Cause I can find like seven really cheap items and make that same amount of money in here like probably right now. So I don't know. I, I think it'd be better for the video if I were to cop them, but at the same time, they are taxing and got them for absolutely free. So, mm -hmm, I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time rationalizing that purchase, and they're not my size, so I would sell them on my website. But, I don't know, dude. I don't know if you guys will spend that much, so <laughs> let's see and post it on the IG story and see what's good. Maybe I'll let you guys decide my fate in this case. Maybe I'll let you guys decide my fate. Oh yeah, also they got a Peyton Manning jersey. Pretty sick, man. We got like the whole squad in this thing. Oh my gosh, brothers. Another one, man. Like a week and a half ago, I found three of these in one video. Now I got another Space Jam VHS. You never can have enough. That's a must cop, a classic. Oh man, guys, you already know what time it is. I'm about to get ran over by this van. Oh, I'm leaving Goodwill. Bruh, we got the Versace, man. We got the Versace shoes. 
and Trill Will. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm excited, but at the same time, man, there is a caveat to my excitement. There is absolutely no return policy on sneakers or shoes. So basically, if these do not sell on my website, they're size 45 European on my website, Thrift Heaven Vintage, then that means I'm kind of in the whole 275 dollars. Um, which is a risk, but what I hate the most is when I watch a YouTube video and people will clickbait it and basically be like, I found these in the pawn shop, I found these in the thrift store, but not buy any of the stuff. Like, it's just dumb. So, you know what? I'm not gonna be what I despise the most. I'm gonna grab the Versace loafers. They're extremely high quality. The CLG tag confirmed they were authentic. Were authentic. Were authentic. Oh! Not like this! Guys, man, I just had to stop by the crib to drop off these Versace loafers because I'm not leaving $675. $675 in my whip. But guys, I just stopped back by inside and I did some research on these shoes. And I also pulled out what I thought was a sales receipt and the correct labelation of these shoes saying these were the Greco Medusa loafers for $675. Now these are currently on Versace's website, but um, check this out guys, when I unfurled the paper, um, in here I noticed that the shoes in the picture and these shoes are completely different. Now on my iPhone, when I just Googled the name and I briefly looked at the picture, it seemed the same and I don't know why. I thought this piece of paper came with the shoes, but I don't know why I trusted the workers at Goodwill who just printed this out and threw it in there because this is not the correct shoe at all. So luckily, man, after some sleuthing on the internet, I found out that these shoes via Pinterest are the Versace Printed Croc Palazzo Coin Loafers, um, whatever that means. But yeah, on Pinterest, these linked to the Versace website, but the page was not found. And I think it's because these released in 2015. Um, the quality is just so freaking good on these shoes though. It is dumb. Hopefully everything is in focus right now for you guys. The quality is ignorant. And the CLG tag confirmed they were authentic. So if you guys know something else, let me know. But yeah, dude, um, it said these are the city shoes made of cocoa and Lucertola. That means lizard in Italian or something. So, you know, just take a look at that tag if you guys want any more info. But yeah, guys, if y'all know anything about these shoes, let me know. I saw one other pair on the internet on Grailed and they listed the retail as being $1,125. Yes, sir, indeed, baby. So these are worth way more than the $675 that Goodwill thought, so that's a good thing. Now, the downside is these puppies sold for $290. So, high key in hindsight, I don't think <laughs> I made the wisest purchase, but I went off what they said at Goodwill kind of without knowing. I didn't click and enlarge the picture, and because of that, I might make a good 25 bucks off these. Wow. But worst case scenario, um, I could rock these. Uh, I'm not sure the size. I think they fit a little bigger than a 12. But yep, there you have it. Let's get back in the trenches now. Murder on the menu and murder, she wrote it. Wicked tinted out, it's like I stole it. I'm rolling. She get winded quick, I know it's potent. She take all the Oh, no, 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 no. Let's talk about a goodwill. Dude, this parking lot is way too packed. They combined all their half off day or all their discount days in a one day, tripping. Tripping. Also, man, speaking of tripping, I found out that size 45 is size 12. So those Versace shoes are actually my size. Ah! Oh my God! But yeah, they fit like a 12 and a half if you guys are by curious about that. Let's get in here. These definitely aren't Versace, but these are some bangers, bro. These look like those um, chode, thick looking breath mints. Beautiful air right there, total conditioning. These were released in 2000, if I'm correct. Uh, you also got some Adidas Ultra Boost. These are fire. These would fit like a midget chick. Not too bad, they're $7. Seven! Seven! Seven, bro! And then they also got the little um, Lebrin 9s. I love that weavery, bro. 
That's like on some uh, Moses floating down the river in the basket, Steez. Ooh, I see something. I see something. I see an accoutrement I need in my life. If y'all saw my last video, I came up on a ton of Eminem finds. And yes, dude, they had this in the antique store and they were taxing. But we got it right here for the low. Four dollars, bro. Let's get it. It's an Eminem dispenser roller coaster. Uh, hands in the air and wave them. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm gonna get that. I'm wilding in this store right now. Let me chill. Chill. All right, guys. So I just raided that bin before um, that lady took all the kicks. And uh, I luckily scooped up these Butamis Reeboks right here. Um, these are size 10. These are in great condition. The materials look super old. They're like, they don't look as durable as newer materials. So these may be very old school. Um, check out the tag. You guys kind of can't, but my hands are full, so it is what it is. Got them. Oh lord, guys, I'm all here for this. Look at this polo Ralph Lauren cut and sew. Look at that pony coke white. Woo, looking like the winner. Um, this is a U size XL, so this is easily like an adult small to medium. This thing is looks pretty hefty. It's not one of those fitted pieces of bullshit. Nothing on the back. I just love cut and sew polos. Hey, also, you guys know, shout out my sponsor, man, Puma Life for life look at that neck embroidery jolly green giant colorway you guys know puma blesses my feet with kicks and um this vintage soccer jersey is very hard i wish it didn't have that 21 on the back wait 21 it's a knife it's a knife you guys no lie man this puma jersey is a straight banger bruh hold up what kind of what kind of jacked New Jack City. Ooh, dang, look at this little kitchenette set. Nice. All right, guys, I gotta rest my basket somewhere to show you guys the finds. Um, they're banging the music in here, trying to get me a copyright strike on this banger of a video. You got the San Jacinto Harley Davidson. All right, bro, they need to turn down this music for real. I'm starting to sound like an old head in here. This shit irritating me, bro. I'm trying to relax. Um, you also got that, it's Stussy, man. Stussy, man, damn. Old school, the rat and the skull. Dude, screen printing all down the sleeves. Oh man, Roots Rasta Surf Rat. And this is really, really freaking dope. I love the printing all over that. It's stussy, man. man. Damn. Also, these are size 10 in women's, I discovered, which is an eight in men's. So I'm probably not gonna get them because honestly, if you were a size eight, you're not a man at that point. You didn't know. Just kidding. Don't unsubscribe, man. I love you guys. Hey, little feet, little socks. That's all that means. Um, yeah, I think this is just about everything I got up in this store thus far. Skirt. All right, guys. What's cracking? We're in the next store right now. Speaking of cracking, man, we got some prize of the Caribbean swagoo right here in the tie-dye form. That Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Shout out Miguel's baby daddy, Mike Evans, boy. Mike Evans comes flying out of the top rope and lays out Lattimore. Yeah, here. Oh, is that a cutlass? Yes, sir. Dang. Hey, Talladega, nice stuff for real. Vintage 1997. You ain't first. <laughs> your last oh my gosh man i wish this was my last name poo because i'd be shitting on the game <laughs> it's fire dang look at this young little french bitch you got the less mr Belles. a uh, huge logo t fruit of the loom made in usa yo this is a random little cantina's merch but imagine this with the Travis Scott ones, bro. That's what I'm saying, that colorway just smacks. Hey man, it's like I'm finding golden nuggets. I love gold. 49ers, clean vintage polo. Guys, look at this, man. You got that surf style piece. Good Lord, interplanetary body gear out of this world straight up. The branding says it all. That cool little embroidered patch, chameleon paint job, switching colors in the light. This is a delight, man. Gotta get it. Oh. Hey, closet nothing but Harley Daddy. Look at that Crip Keeper. Hey, man. It's that guy, Mickey Mouse. Look at him, man. He being a little bit shy. Got his hands in his pocket. Uh, might be scratching his ball sack on the cool. This is amazing, man. All embroidered, baby. Yep. Oh, hello. It's my favorite animated thought. That Betty Bop. Dude, look at her fit, though. Lord, I know these real-life women wish they could get on your level, Betty. They can't. Ooh. 
<laughs> you guys already know. I'm saucing like a dolphin. Approach me with caution. You got the Dan Marino 1999 signature Miami Dolphins tee. Bro, the colors on this got my camera tweaking. Oh, dude, then right behind it, I got the Ralph Lauren Chaps. Native American as Americana as it gets long sleeve. And then some Tommy for who? That's right, your mommy. Your mommy! Bro. Yo, the sleeve never deceives. Check out the mustard and ketchup colorway. Marlboro Adventure Team. Guys, this jacket looks like it's never been worn. This red is so pure. It got a black hood, Marlboro tag, fish netting like an 80 stripper. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Guys, more lady than a titty boy. <laughs> you got the Chicago Bears vintage NFL jacket, NFL pro line. I'm a freaking. Stop That's fire. Slight little paint stain on it. It got the jewelry on the bottom. Nice. Is everything I could ever imagine. Whew. Vicious. Dude, paper thin, man. Made in USA. Start each day with a smile and get it over with. Jim Davis got Garfield just illing and chilling. Dude, I got two pairs of ice cream blazers that would go great with this shirt. Hold on to this guy for a while. Most definitely I'm gonna. Guys, oh my God, dude. Look at this grail, but look at that stain. Oh my God, guys. This is crazy, this is in here. It is so stained up. I wonder what I could do to this to like, I don't know, make it dope if anything. This piece is jacked up, but I feel like I could do something to make it look cool. Maybe like paint something right here. I have no idea. Might be worth the project though. All right guys, and we're out of there, man. So shout out Family Thrift and shout out all you guys for watching this video. I got a ton of steals today, aside from the Versace shoes, which were not a steal, but for the relative retail, I guess they are. So if you guys enjoyed this video, man, smash the like button for me copying some really expensive kicks for you guys. Um, live the dream, eat that vegan ice cream, despite the fact that my drink is from a burger place. Hey, forgive your boy. But uh, yeah, until next time, man, keep it locked and loaded. I'll see you on my pop-up September 15th. If y'all want anything y'all saw in today's video, it'll either be there or on my website, Thrift Heaven, link in description. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.